Hello everybody, happy Saturday. This is Stephanie, welcome back to my channel. Just got back from New England, did quite a bit of air travel and I'm tired, you can see it. Uh, I have put on a little bit of foundation and some concealer, a little bit of mascara and a little lip gloss. That's what we're gonna start with today. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face with a little bit of my favorite bronzer. This is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze in Brighton in the shade medium and I'm applying it with a pharmacy dual end powder brush. Today's experiment is with blush placement. I'm gonna find out what happens if I break the blush application laws today. Today I'm using Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine. This blush has gotten a lot of use. As you can see, I've hit the pan on there. I'm using an angular blush brush. This is in the brand Beastope. An angular brush I have found personally makes blush application easier because it more adheres to the shape of your cheek. All right, so here we go. All of the beauty experts say, if you're more mature, apply your blush from the temple on down. Apply it higher to give a lifted appearance. Don't use the apple of your cheek because that'll draw your face down. Well, I've always liked to apply blush in the apple of my cheek. It's my favorite. And so now when I go and apply blush on the apple of my cheek, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I'm gonna take a beauty crop powder brush here and just sort of blend that a little bit better. If you've been troubled, about where you place your blush on your face, I have good news, folks. Place it anywhere you like. I'm not a makeup artist, but I do know that in theory, placing blush on the apple of your cheek, theoretically, is supposed to give you the appearance of a more full cheek and applying it on your temple, moving downward and keeping it higher, is supposed to give your face a more lifted and more sculpted look. I decided to go back in and do the eyeshadow tutorial if you want to call it that coming from someone who's not an eye makeup application expert using an it cosmetics travel size shadow brush i'm applying the it cosmetics naturally pretty essentials palette with a neutral tone over my lid and up toward my eyebrow now i'm going to pack on a little bit of this darker color here with a pharmacy detail eyeshadow brush. On this side, I'm taking the shade and I'm applying it above the crease. I'm trying to keep my eye in a natural resting position, applying it in swirly motions just up toward the brow here. And this particular application is, in theory, supposed to open your eye and make it look a little more lifted. I've had some comments from older women who say things like, your eye isn't droopy, honey. I'm 70, this doesn't work for me. And while I appreciate the compliment that my eye doesn't look droopy, I can tell you that my eye is definitely more hooded than it was when I was, say, 40 years old. And all I can do is apply this shadow application to my 59-year-old eye. This is makeup, it's not medical advice. So if it works for you, great. And if it doesn't, okay. So here I am, I'm taking the darker shade and I'm applying it to the crease directly. And let's see if it makes a difference in whether one eye looks more open than the other. Speaking of comments, I've gotten so many sweet, very kind comments from so many of you and I really appreciate it. You know, just being transparent, I'm a believer that whatever you put out there, it comes back to you. So those of you that have been very sweet to me and there have been a lot of you, I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. I decided to go in with a little more blush and freshen this up a little, see if I could get more of a defined difference between the two sides and see if you think it makes any difference in the appearance of volume or how sculpted it might look. Taking that powder brush again and blending it out a little better and see if the look actually makes a difference on either side. I grabbed this foundation brush. It's not a dense foundation brush, but it was firm enough to do a better job in softening the lines on the blush. So let's have a look and see. What do you think? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.